This is lab six, three jet flow. Let's start by looking at the uh, equipment that we're gonna use here. So first we have a jet, which is mounted to a three axis stage that's controlled by stepper motors. And a pitot tube is positioned at the jet exit. The pressure across the pitot tube is measured with a transducer and the, there's the power supply for the transducer, which we would like to turn on. We have an oscilloscope. There is a data acquisition system. And two controllers for the stepper motors. Okay, so we've got the equipment on, and now we want to open the spreadsheet Free Jet Flow Lab version 3.1. Now, note at the top of the spreadsheet that the positions x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0 appear on buttons. These tabs keep track of your current location. So currently the pitot tube is at 0, 0, 0. To go to any new location, you must always highlight the x coordinate of that location. For example, let's move 20 diameters downstream of the jet. Okay? Note that column A has the values of x over d, but column B has the actual x coordinate values. Highlight cell B12 and click on move to new XYZ location. Okay, so do not highlight anything except the X column to move to a new location. If you highlight Y instead, then the spreadsheet will be screwed up. Okay, so now we have the spreadsheet on and we know how to move the pitot tube. Now we need to turn on the airflow. So we want to turn the flow on using the orange air valve, which is behind the pipes and conduits at the test stand. Okay, the air is on now. Let's set the airflow using the needle valve on the rotometer. Set the flow at 7.5. The center line of the ball should be at 7.5. You'll want to look on the right side of the rotometer to obtain the appropriate units and scaling factors. 